still have to order now? Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. It is five with six minutes. We'll call this meeting to order. We can begin with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please. We all stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, one nation, that is the public of the nation, is justice, liberty, and justice for all. Yeah, well, roll call, please. Yes. Sandra Caos Tayala? Present. Present. Nelly Pais? Present. Present. Robert Ortiz? Present. Angelica Salinas? Present. Rosa Maria Cidellano? Present. Eltalvina Perez? Present. Present. Esmeralda Rodriguez? Present. Ro Rafael Romo? Present. Present. Maribel Valdez Rodriguez? Absent. We have a quorum. Uh, this time there's no citizen comments. This uh, time they're recognized. No. So now we have the minutes. If people want to go ahead and read the minutes from the prior meeting and approval, please. Okay. Any corrections or any recommendations for the minutes? No. I move we accept the minutes as presented. There's a motion to accept. I have a second. A second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Okay. And now for uh, communications and announcements. Okay, I, I do have some new staff to introduce to you. I have uh, with us Alejandra Velasco. 
So I know that. That uh, two years, I believe, of library experience. Or oh, two years. Mm -hmm. Yes, or, or at a school library or oh. at a, any kind of library experience. That differentiates it from the court one, which is a yeah. entry. The library tech one. She had library experience. Oh. I'm saying because we need a like a tech one <laughs> soon. <laughs> see, you know why. Let's see, we, we're also uh, with asking. The recommendations have been made already. We're just waiting for them to go to the process, uh, show the education and their background checks and of course drug and alcohol. And we're still waiting for the approval of to open That's her old position. She's now here with us. Your Danielle. Mm -hmm. Inner City Branch, the one on Plum Street. And I don't know if they'll let me hire a circular. How far off in the future we'll be opening that library. And we're, I just asked permission to open a custodian at Moss also. So we, it's a, we're <laughs> all indoors. Right now, Annalisa, Priscilla, Eloisa. They're all meeting or what? No, I mean, not Moss. I'm sorry, the inner. We're, we're oh, here's Lizzie, a full timer and one part timer. We were. And so far, if they need uh, coverage because of some reason, we'll send somebody over there. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. They, they've been doing okay. Oh, recent. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, okay, recent and upcoming okay. library programs and services. And there you have the, the fly. Author had a, a conflict, well not a conflict, an emergency where she couldn't make it. Luckily we were able to schedule it soon afterwards for November. Yeah, I wonder if you not anymore, why? I can't, I can't go that oh. way. I'm out of town that weekend. Yeah, sorry. Right, we are going to have somebody, um, the... Outlet Mom, he's going to be here selling the book. Do we have that book, like in Libby or... or it, when is it for the physical copies? November 13th, Saturday, November 13th. Doing our, our big book sale, music book sale. We haven't had it well, in two years. Now, the, the one city, one books, is there, do you all work in, I know you said the warehouse, but. They need to ask corporate to see if they can purchase it because oh, there's no guarantee yeah. that they're going to sell it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I... Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. Yeah. But we've got second and Charles. Mm -hmm. That um, Jesse, the, the manager from the, the one at the outlet, used to work with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we always had that relationship. If he was at second and Charles, he try to purchase it. interesting and she had a, a room full of people and uh, everything was just for, for what you're doing because it's uh, obvious very evident that people 
uh, and a lot of students were there, a lot of students, yes. that they really enjoyed that. For the students, so thank you again so much uh, for doing what you're doing. Is uh, it really, you know, it's it was amazing, an amazing event. Thank you for attending, and I want every. It will be published by the Times. Oh, okay. oh yes. uh, so some of the specifically the ones that were written here. Alexander, those were the, the, the group of students. Hey, In fact, last night I also saw that that one of the branches was having a Halloween party, right? Which one was it last night? Uh, uh, it should the be fast not. I understand that uh, the radio, the fine arts uh, is downtown. Uh, is having uh, an event for the other all the stuff that you talked about at, the, at your yes. presentation. I don't know, maybe you can set up a, or I mean, to set up a little booth or something. To we're show we're those taking the, the altar yeah. that was here, we're taking it there. at that altar and also that if for it, it'll come out in the paper on Saturday because I have one at home. Second at night, I don't know what time, but uh, I, I, I would like to go to that. Yes, yes, uh, um, I don't know yet because I, I'm going every day. I have been going every day to a different school every day today. But then on Friday, I'm going to Tammy U. On Monday, I'm going to Cigarroa. Tuesday, I'll end up at uh, Martin High School with 115 students in the wow. library. Yeah. Wow. Yes. They fit? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. And, and look out for the paper on Saturday because then the, the Laredo Public Library altar will be because i told them it was awesome okay was awesome. no we need to tell them. mine is not with all the the you know the, the tears that you <laughs> i'm not an artist i'm a poet but not an artist per se but they are and and we want to take this to the community yeah. all of them. you know that's our tradition that's our people and, and we should be proud and Oh, I'm sorry. You also have the checklist for the for the different branch visits. Mm -hmm. Oh, the branch Not very, not a lot, not a lot. Um, I think it's all, it was also being scheduled when the kids were having tutorials. Well, it says here. Tutorials are not accepted. They're no. out, yeah, okay. they're out by the latest, by the clock, or even yeah. before that. Yeah. yeah. No, it hasn't been, and we've been uh, promoting it. And I, I know I saw it, so I thank you that I was. By the time they get out, I mean, I think dinner and it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but maybe you could suggest maybe an earlier hour or.
weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, so when I saw this, I said, well, okay, we're not opening our library today. They can take advantage there. Okay. But we are. I'll talk to Priscilla. She's the one doing the program to see if, if maybe do it on a Saturday. But she also yeah. has a, a, a I think. She you can see maybe we can increase the number. I told them to leave it on there for now. See maybe if it, if it'll build up. <clears throat> do you communicate with the libraries from both well, the, the librarians? The librarian. Do you give it out to all the? Librarians directly. Mm -hmm. And UISD is the same? Mm -hmm. Because I, I see that, I've told you this before, I've come to some events where there's hardly anybody, mm -hmm. and it's so beautiful. They have so yeah. many good things. I know. Um, in, in my case, the reason they come is I get on the telephone and mm -hmm. I call people. Yeah. But, you know, I, that's that's the way it works. Mm -hmm. That's why I have people. It's um, just, it's hard. There's it's a hard. lot going on. I mean, oh kids, no, I know. They but have to stay late with new requirements by the state. Mm -hmm. oh, the, it's our tutorials. Are the tutorials. Yeah. But yeah. it's sad because they should be coming. Even now, Saturday hard. tutorials. They really? have Saturday tutorials. Yeah. They have. And enjoy reading. Really. Yes. They would pass those tests. Yes. No, no need for tutorials. Mm -hmm. If you develop a love of reading, the love of writing, it's you know, it's, you. it's it's it stays. Mm -hmm. That's what I did with my kid, with my own, you know. But um, I say because today I was at Triumph, and Triumph is not a member of LASD or UASD. No, it's just it's a charter. It's a charter, it's a charter, and there's several. I had no idea. <coughs> I had no clue. I didn't even know that we had another charter school other than Harmony. So this I has been going on yeah. for 20 years. Triumph. Triumph. I was they haven't been here for 20 years. No, no, right. not here. Like, there was oh, another, yeah, I there was on another <laughs> campus. But um, oh. a friend of mine started it from LISD, Humberto Trevino. And so I just went, and the lady that, uh, the Spanish teacher said, the principal was your student. Her name is Olga Trevino. I said, Olga Trevino. Was, no, hombre, pues Olga Zapico. Pues I don't know their, their name. name. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Wow. And she told me it. And all yes, you because I was so interested. I want you to know that I've been pushing the library program <laughs> and the Libby, and I tell them about every, all the great things that we have, because they're Thank right you. there. No, I know they're they, right there. They met here on Friday for their cancer walk. They came oh, at the, okay. the, well, the parking well, lot, yes. Yeah, well, so. I think we have a wonderful library system, you know, this okay. library and all the others, and, and you have wonderful things. Mm -hmm. Now we need the community to participate. More people, you know, more people. Um, and that's my spiel. Mm -hmm. So take it to your campus and promote the library <laughs> to every Indeed. campus that we have. Yes. Well, uh, on that note, I don't know how how it works. I don't. I'm not responsible for the. We have a parent festival, like a, every year. our district so listen to out of the district we have a bunch of presentations that's a, that's a united right it's yes, a our united high school yes and they and we have all kinds of there every campus is represented in their booths because parents sign in there but they do have presentations from our all of our coordinators and stuff on all the programs i don't know if that's something that the public library should be included I in i don't know if we've ever gone no i don't think we no. have I, I know we have you're right. I like that. Have the United High School um, for uh, high school of uh, no UISD High School. I think I don't remember her name, but she came to your program or saw your program. I don't remember her name. I, I wrote it down and she called me and says, when we have this, can you all get, yes. I mean, it's gonna be done virtually and, and the librarians are ready to go. I, I agree. Yeah, it's a yes. parent festival and it's yes. coming up 
yeah. in November. I think we should have November 13th. No, that's why you can't call. No, I, I'm going out of town. That's why I can't call. I was a student doctor once. Yeah, I'm going to be out of town that day. Yeah, I'm going to be out of town. Well, yeah, that's, that's the key, right? That's been the big, uh, I guess, Achilles heel is getting the word out. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. uh, when, when during the recession, when other other communities were closing down, libraries left and right, we heard about them shutting down. Mm -hmm. We they, That wasn't happening here in Webb County, Laredo. It was, uh, yeah. you know, we were building, mm -hmm. yeah. building libraries. So, uh, and, and really, I think... ...that with technology was highlighted during COVID. Yes. Um, and of course, all of our libraries have internet and we've always seen how people like to come in here just to get the internet. Yeah. But Sit upon, outside in their car. Now. Right, <laughs> right. But upon doing that, it's in your this report. You've seen it, how the, the, like, you know, the digital collection, the e-collections e have skyrocketed. We have yeah. 3,000. You'll see when the students start using it that it jumps right. up, you know, so it's great to see that. So yeah. that's something I think that should be uh, highlighted and really tapped into to any community event or district event, whether it's LISD, UIC, or even our charter schools, if that one have a, a they, to, to let them know this is here, this is here to serve you. You pay. Right. I mean, yes, they know we have books. <laughs> We're a library, but yes. Well, maybe, but maybe somehow getting in touch with maybe um, I think it'd be Mrs. Sedat Awada, maybe the individual. Oh no, we 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 have yes. contact with her. Yeah, because she organizes all all those things. She's very good at it. So. Is that for UISD? No, if, if we can go, we'll go. And the, yeah. and the private schools also. But we've we do charter. a lot of, um, we've been doing online STEM mm -hmm. programs for, for with the, the, the private schools. So, which, you know, the, there are several. Uh, you know, the, the, the Catholic ones. Catholic and ones. And because the and, the they're usually a smaller yes. classroom, mm -hmm. so that we can. Any other comments on that? I was wondering about this at the Moss Branch. It says here that glass cubes on the west side of the building have been damaged by rocks. Like rocks that were thrown at it, or? I, I don't know. It could have been that from a car. I think it's probably the kiddos that were good because we had some of the wall repaired too. Been having trouble. So there's drainage it. issues. I don't know. It turns out it's not that. It's a. Uh... Yes. So we're, we've, it has a leak, so. we've oh, had a, a couple of, of uh, consultants go in yeah. to give us a, a price as to how we can fix it because that that's an ongoing. Uh, we, we kept getting, no, it's the scrapers on the outside that are, and so they filled some. The rain, I think. Mm. If the scraper head is broken, it's because that's where it's leaking. It, and it yeah. wasn't that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it got it wasn't fixed that. It because yes. they, uh, that the, the, the water were going because of the slope of it. So the public works at it, dirt and filled in. It's still not happening. So is this map, is this indoors? Is this it's like indoors, yes, it's indoors. So, so how, how quickly does it get cleaned up? And, and about mold. Yes. yes. Yeah, no, right. as soon as it right away, we send someone, someone okay. to do it. Okay. The carpets need to be clean right now. Yeah. But now we need to get a, one of those contractors to go in there and, and fix that one thing. We had engineering and risk management from the city go in there and take a look at it okay. when it happened again. Yes. Okay. I don't know if there's any other observations or comments about the visits.
question about Bruni. I know it's closed, but I know the city of planning is not there anymore. No, it, the building's vacant. Uh huh. And will you be able to use that as a library or not? No. Um, right now, what we're doing is we're taking out. We're not gonna. It's not a library anymore. Oh, it's not going to open anymore, mm -hmm. the Bruni. No, that's uh, the, the federal the, the court. Okay. No, it's vacant right now. So it's vacant. So it will not be used as a library. It's a library. Um, Councilman Cigarroa has not decided yet what she wants to do with the building. Mm -hmm. building but it's going to be something else. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, monthly statistics? That, um, uh, Danielle is here, as promised. In case you can, yeah, so I can. Um, I can get you the attendance, Melly, on the AR mics. I just don't okay. have shared folder access. Okay, thank you. I'm going to excuse myself. I have another meeting. Nice seeing everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Melly. Thank Bye. you. Nice seeing you all. Even if it's virtual. <laughs> no, that's it. Thank you. But if you're gonna, they have this, and you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you mind if I just unhook the yeah. webcam? Is this yeah. the one? Yeah. Or is this the microphone? No, this is the webcam. Uh, this is the right. Okay. Okay. So let me just unplug that really quick. Um, they yes. can see me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will say. Yeah. It's, um, it's just the, the camera. camera. That, yeah, it's, it's just, just going to be the camera on the laptop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the meantime. about the e resource yeah so, so um, she can show you that yeah so we'll, i guess we can plug in that yeah. okay. is, i have a question is e resource is that audio books too the, all the electronic if or they're electronic because the e books mm -hmm. i know yeah. some in the audio books but everything's electronic yes so yeah we have some audio books on cd so oh, no, that's no, totally different i'm talking about libby and mm -hmm. uh, it's that, digital that, yeah, that digital. Would be okay worked almost in every department. I've been in reference, I've been in a branch, and I, I'm now here in my newest capacity as the technical services librarian. Um, so my goal here tonight is to explain um, some of the errors and then why I have, again, combined some of the stats that you see on the statistics sheet to, to hopefully clear up some of the confusion and redundancy. So in regards to reporting, I mean, really, I showed Ms. Solis the math. I can only sum it up to human error. In the months before I came here, there was a couple people on the interim, and I can sum it up probably to a little bit of miscommunication and not knowing who to ask for what and where to access it, um, since there are various ways to access the data from different parts, whether it be through Horizon, a SQL query, or So I think it was probably just more or less not knowing um, where to pull them from. Okay, so first, under the circulation area, under the juvenile collection, um, the first thing I went ahead and combined was the juvenile biography under juvenile nonfiction. It, to me, it's just minimal, um, and it wasn't actually being reported until three months ago. So it wasn't its own line um, until about June of this year. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine it under nonfiction, since so there was only 12 last year, last three months. I don't think it's justified to go ahead and put it as its own line and list separately. So, um, and if the e-magazines, um, 
which I'll do next month as well. As long as you're okay with all of these changes, I'll go ahead and add that as well. Uh, so the e-magazines are a part of the collection of e-collection because if you use the OverDrive app, um, they purchased RB Digital, who was our magazine provider digitally. So they went ahead and purchased them. So now it's actually under the same vendor. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and combine those as well. Um, and I think the other one, which was the big question for August, if we go down, I went ahead and actually removed it entirely, um, was the new acquisitions um, that was showing print and it was showing e-collections. Um, so this number um, was not being over from several where, months. Where are the new acquisitions? Um, that one actually removed, so you're not going to see it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, on the prior, um, that was one of the oh. clarifications. So what I did instead is I went ahead and put it under processing um, for the tiles added electronically and the volumes added electronically. Since really, um, processing one. The collections digitally since they're on there for simultaneous and continuous use. So I just went ahead and combined the print new acquisitions and the e-collection new acquisitions under processing. So the new titles um, added print are where we're gonna find the new acquisitions and the e-collections as well are gonna be under the titles added electronic and the volumes added electronic under the processing. I felt it was um, kind of repetitive and it's the same number so since it was being accurately reported above, we might as well just keep it all in the same area. Sure. Um, okay. And uh, with the volumes added and titles added, so you'll just go ahead and see that I have them um, combined as total titles added, total volume added, so that way it's all together in one spot. Um, instead of being up at the acquisitions and then repeated uh, as titles were drawn and added. So, with that being said, as I'm learning this position and getting all of the new statistics and finding them, um, what I want to do is ask your opinion on what statistics are you most interested in? Are you interested in more visual statistics such as charts, graphs? Are you interested in trends? I can always tailor these to whatever you're more interested, most interested in seeing. Uh, I would say I'm interested in the usage, and you have it here. The, hum, the yeah, I'm very absolutely. interested in that. How many people are coming, and you know, using the, all that we have in the library? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm interested in how many people come. Yeah, and that um, is kind of vague. So I mean, that could always be broken down. and how yeah. many, you know, which had what attendance. So this is just kind of all lumped together. And we do do that every uh -huh. quarterly where we, we give you the As somebody is in charge of your Facebook page and your Rita Bear mm -hmm. and all that, but how about more to the community? I don't know, uh, put it out in the... Every week, a calendar of they all this is interesting. No, no, this is more interesting. Yeah, so I, I think again because it, you have so so many good programs, mm -hmm. and I see that not enough attendance and, and the ones I've been. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know, but it's just. That maybe some of your charts or your library, I don't know where it would fall, you are the, the expert, would help, you know, in getting out to the community, you know, or going to TV or going to radio or calling, I don't know, something more. Because um, we found that social media is probably the, the best. Uh, We've done research. The newspaper, yeah, yeah they yeah, no. don't yeah, no. and, and, and radio también. We do go and, and do the programs at KGNS, which is basically the only TV station, same, same, same. Um, local. but from what we found, the, the getting the word out is social media, because mm -hmm. it's not yeah. just I, me who I, gets it, you know, uh, other people are, are, are seeing it and, too. And the Spanish TV, Telemundo, do 
we've done well oh. for Danielle. Yeah, I've yeah. probably done some especially especially for the little, you know, for the four year olds. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. always really receptive. I was the one who used to go and they're always very receptive yes. and they used to to letting us present. Yeah. Uh, it's just I think we need need to let this out more. I, I, like I said, the city PIO sends it out. Uh, that's probably the, the widest reach uh -huh. because it, it's all media outlets. Yes. And uh, we always, on our own, we, each of the branches has access to Facebook so they can promote their own. The, the, the city uh, blast. I saw, uh, I saw the announcement the last week? night. The yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in what, where, what news did you see it in? KGNN. Oh, KGNN. So <laughs> yes. See, we need more and when of that. They, when there's, it's partnered with another, with a Spanish station. I don't remember which one, but when they come and do it. Yeah. With the, oh, the, 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 when they come, they, they say, okay, do it yes. in English, mm -hmm. do it in Spanish. Spanish. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And of course, you have excellent. So is anybody, because uh, I think you would ask, like, how would you want to see it? Yeah, I mean, the really cool part, uh, well, cool depending on, you know, <laughs> your perspective, but then I'm upgrading, we're migrating to a new reporting statistics, so that way it's going to allow me to present in Chart. charts, yeah. line graphs, bar graphs, so if you do want to see that more visually, because sometimes we, as humans, tend to grab things more visually than just looking at numbers, and it's neat to see the trends. Mm -hmm. So like I was mentioning the database, you'll notice, um, that tumble books, oh my gosh, tumble books skyrockets when it's April because they're doing the testing, they're doing yeah. the star, they're pushing that reading. So you'll see wow. it going up and you'll same thing, you'll see mid-semester, October, November is when those databases also, um, go up. They're working for their they are trophies yeah. at the end of the year. Yeah. So, so it's April. really neat to see those trends. So trend. um, um, I, I have one question, one more question. Uh, when you are reading e-books or audio books or e you know, electronic books, it, that book can be checked out by many people? It depends on the platform. Um, okay. So sometimes, like Hoopla, it'll be one user oh. per borrow. Sometimes they're simultaneous use. Tumble Books is a great one, for example, where many people can see it at once. Uh -huh. If we have multiple copies, say on Overdrive, then yes, you can have multiple people. Okay. But it is one person per oh. user. Generally, like on book Overdrive, on the shelf. that's the only one Hoopla, person can have it. Uh -huh. I will say a really cool app that we have is the Cloud Library, which I was mentioning, yeah. because that one actually helps our stats a lot. Austin Public Library, if we own that title, can borrow it digitally and without oh, even knowing on the back end. Cloud Library. That's right. I need to input that. So that's a great know. one. Um, oh. And so that's a really nice There's one like as well. Hundreds yeah, that's actually. books in there because it's a consortium? Somebody else might have it, and you'll be able to borrow it. Yeah, and that's actually our highest circulating oh. um, app. That oh. one's really, really popular. Okay. And you'll see the different trends. Louisville Public Library, a patron from there will borrow our digital material. So it's really neat. I, I think that's wonderful. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're sold on that. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Than you're preaching to the so choir. Right. Yes. I, love, I love them just I, as much. I'm enjoying yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, I can't put them down. Yeah, I love them too. It cannot Wait, it's in down. your car, it's Apple Android, it's yes, Apple CarPlay. Yes, yes. I mean, it's really convenient. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. so I highly recommend to all, and I've been pushing it to every, everyone I know. Go get your library card and go get the, mm -hmm. I, I push the Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we've even been doing, I'm sure Ms. Lisa has told you, but we've been doing the e-library card users so somebody can just borrow our digital items. Oh. Um, so if you go to our website, you can register just from e-card, and it allows you to just use digital items. So you don't even need to come in, don't oh. even need to stop by. It's no really fines. No fines. It's, it's, it'll just know disappear. That. It's, 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 it's But I'm like, no, now you can actually. This is not an this is not an obstacle anymore. You just use it digitally. Wow. So it's really cool. Yeah. I, I, I like that it returns itself. Yes. yes. You don't have to do it. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Can That's I push awesome. that to the students or the new parent? Yeah. No, the students they don't need it. No, no, they don't even need you, it. You go yeah. online, get the card. And that's yeah. See, I didn't know that. And we were pushing it to, to the students to do it on their own. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you'll see the trends is also really cool. You'll see, so they're generally to expire within a year. So then once that expires, they'll check out, they'll take out a new card. So you'll see. It's kind of a harmless crime. They owe <laughs> money, but they're checking out stuff. Yeah. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And libraries are going, you know. Yeah, yeah. For the 21st, another direction. I mean, I don't know how to say it. But another trend. Oh, sure, know. sure. I mean, we don't have the, the actual book. The library's a growing organism. It's a growing, yeah. Yeah, it's always changing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, well. That's Faskin, yeah. uh, Faskin Branch Library. Barbara oh. Faskin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon in the... <laughs> You're hungry. Faskin, <laughs> okay. Any, any items for discussion and, and possible items? Since we don't have a quorum presently, we will ask, uh, Angie can uh, poll the committee to see oh. when they want to have the meeting. Yeah. Usually we oh, have it in early December. Early December, yeah. And we had said we were going to bring one book and it's changed books, did you say that? Last time? Or donate? I don't know. I, I thought she was going to donate. Ayala, you're donate. the one who, who brought it up. Donate or to, to or, exchange? Or exchange. Okay. I have one to exchange with you. Oh, she's on mute. Ashi, you're on mute. To donate, right? No. Right. Or oh, to donate? No, no. No, no. To exchange. Doing like the, the, the white elephant where everybody brings a book, we'll put a number on it. Okay. And then we draw, and so whoever gets that, that number will get that book. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's like a book exchange. Okay. Yeah, like a, like a gift exchange. Yeah, it could be a book. Yeah. It could be a Christmas book, it could be a cookbook, or anything like that. Yeah. I already have one. <laughs> we'll still do it because we can't uh, or did we vote on it last no we no, didn't we vote did on it really but she'll not. still poll but I think that's probably the best day yes. 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 since we don't have a, a quorum presently yeah. okay okay sounds good. sounds good I think that's it that's all I mean I don't know of anything else no? Anybody else? Nothing? No. Okay. Uh, so then do we have a motion to adjourn? I so. Oh wait, the absences? No. I so mean is uh